government delegates an opportunity to return to their, their own provinces as delegations to, uh, to assess the delivery of services to citizens working with their counterparts in the provincial legislatures and uh, municip municipal councils. They conducted the oversight. On the implementation of the program, uh, the provincial week was uh, a high impact oversight driven program that focused on the challenges of the state capacity uh, in the provinces. Two, it was also informed by the need to focus on the revival of the economy, which depends on infrastructure, infrastructure development and the reliable and sustainable resources like water, electricity, roads, and transport. The premiers and members of the executive councils briefed the delegations on a range of, of, of issues. The delegations also undertook site visits the following are some of the highlights of the programs in the provinces based on the draft and or initial reports. In relation to the Eastern Cape, the Provincial Department of Education is in the process of eradicating mad schools. R79 billion rents is required for this purpose. A cannabis uh, college is in the process of being established in the city, city uh, and then details are to be made available in the 2023-2024 financial year. There are partnerships uh, for market access purposes between small and established farmers, and small farmers will still need uh, protection. Small farmers need support with capital and participation in cannabis and hemp industry value chains. Reported improvements in the finances of the African Zone District Municipality with a notable 3 million rand surplus and a commitment to address uh, audit uh, outcomes. Uh, so, from the Eastern Cape, we're raising the, the issue there uh, uh, of mad schools, we're raising the issue of uh, cannabis and we're raising the issue of the improvement in the financial management of the Afri of Alfred Muso municipality. Uh, in relation to the free state, the visit in Bepena, uh, it works, and the Moe, Moe re 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 refill uh, at Bloomwater uh, pump stations in Devotorp on Tuesday was affected by the absence of executives from the Mangaung Metropolitan Municipality and therefore officials who were present could not account for any of the, of, of the issues. After visiting Reddersbeck, uh, Springfontein, Forest Smith, and uh, Jagasfontein uh, in the Copernum local municipality, the delegates noted lack of infra infrastructure maintenance as, as there were no absence of executive sites and fencing had been vandalized. In relation to Kauten, uh, health facilities uh, uh, services uh, uh, serves about uh, 30 million patients per annum, and, and a significant number of, of them are legal and illegal immigrants who come from the uh, broader Southern region. The location of, of strained budget for schools, hospitals, and other basic infrastructure such as housing, water, and sanitation, electricity, and business uh, infrastructure. There is a need for the provincial government to develop economic and infrastructure reforms, uh, staff establishment, not only to workload work at Kisani, but at one hospital, and there's a, a high ten turnover. There's slow progress by government in, in planning and execution of infra infrastructure uh, remedial works at Charles McBeggar Jordan Baker Academy Hospital. Uh, on building destroyed by fire and also insufficient budget allocation for, for in, 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 in infrastructure. Uh, there's need to speed up informalization of basic informal settlement in the city of Johannesburg for the provision of basic services. Fortunately, park infrastructure planning for basic informal settlement is nearing com completion. There are also plans to remove people staying at Kapok informal settlement in the city of Johannesburg to where 
they'll get the uh, uh, service uh, stands. Uh, then there's a question of water treatment uh, plant in Spokane, uh, where progress, significant progress was 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 noted. In relation to Basuru Natal, uh, the, the focus has really been on policing. Uh, there's been uh, there's, there, there's inadequate space uh, in buildings for the provision of policing services, and available buildings are in need of maintenance and or revamping in the province. The National Department of Public Works and Infrastructure is said to be slow uh, with regard to maintenance or, pro or provisions of space for the South African police services. The recent upgrade of Mangusi police station, which has not yet been completed despite the scheduled completion uh, uh, as, as, as indicated. So in Wazun Natal, the focus this time around uh, in this provincial week was on, on, on policy. Uh, 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 of course, the uh, 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 other is is issues in relation to policing will, will include uh, uh, the, 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 the the decline uh, in, 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 in in crimes other than they can flat the theft and, 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 and hijacking, um, delays in procurement which are due to centralization uh, affect police force operation in Mangus Police Station. E.g. vehicles which are needed to cover the the vast area under the, under the, under the station take take along uh, 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 that the that question of of, of, of of repairs. We will move on. Uh, of course, noting the the other part of the report is that I've said that, 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 that as I've said the focus in relation to that was really on policy and issues of safety. In relation to Limpopo, uh, the focus was, was on water uh, and uh, agricultural uh, equipment. Uh, uh, so it will be those kinds of broad issues uh, and related matters. The Sikukwini District Municipality has water deficit and cannot fully service the needs of the people. There's also slow progress in the in the issue of water rights and up, 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 update to, to to farmers, there is lack of agricultural equipment such as tractors. The challenges of uh, flag bush yellow uh, water scheme includes insufficient red water for household usage, which is diverted uh, for commercial purposes, and uh, inconsistent water supply due to bulk water and reticulation systems uh, breakdowns. There is no water deficit from the uh, DWOP water treatment plant. However, the capacity to supply water by the Kukuni District Municipality is severely constrained due to the fact that the bulk water pipelines, uh, a pipeline has not been uh, 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 commissioned. Kamu, Kamaruha village uh, in Liba, Libalalo, uh, south, in, in, in the Fitahomu. Uh, Tubati local municipality uh, has water shortages. In Kumala, there's a question of three copies water treatment in the Goma's local municipalities, municipality, which, which services about uh, nine villages and is expected to be completed in June this year. Uh, uh, this is already uh, operating above uh, its capacity. There's also the challenge of illegal water connections. Which, 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 which affect daily supplies, supplies of water. There's insufficient budget for maintenance and purposes. The Numa Primary School in, 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 in Violet, uh, in Bushback Ridge, established due to overcrowding in Majaban, Japan Primary School, does not have adequate infrastructure. That means the national minimum norms and standards, also no proper fencing, and the mobile classes are not ventilated. Poor maintenance and aging infrastructure is separating, is separating water supply from the leading the water treatment plan in Tabatwe local municipality. And the delegation has noted the need for more funds for the upgrading of the, of the infrastructure. In addition to the Northern Cape, 
the guy Ami uh, local municipality has poor revenue collection and insufficient budget for operations and maintenance. The municipality needs a, a revenue a collection a, a policy. Water quality is not up to standard according to the Department of Water and Sanitation. Municipality needs a capacity for maintenance of sanitation infrastructure and services. Many farmers benefited from the drought relief measures. Uh, Kaikari is an ideal area for the development of, of solar, solar energy. So we know that point. Uh, Lenetteville, uh, Kemus, uh, and Kagama's water treatment uh, plants were visited and, and, and respective challenges of pipe breakages, maintenance challenges, and aging infrastructure were reported. David uh, Kraper Municipality uh, reported on the utilization of infrastructure grants and highlighted COVID-19 environmental issues and rain as one of the contributors to some of the delays that have been experienced. Pipe bursts and aging infrastructure were some of the observation at the David Kraper Water um, uh, Purification Plant. Otherwise, the delegates uh, were generally happy with the functioning of the of the plant. In relation to Northwest, provincial government is planning to enhance accountability measures for the municipalities and the MECs to improve uh, the service, uh, service delivery. Inadequate funding, human resource challenge, challenges, and lack of proper equipment as frustrating as service delivery, as uh, was mentioned. There's also poor, cap poor capacity for maintenance of roads and uh, infrastructure. Northwest is a water scarce province, as we all know, so is the country in general. Uh, but here, talking about North Northwest in particular, and water tanks will, will uh, be used when there is a, a need. And of course, the abuses in this arrangement uh, will be uh, addressed. In relation to the Western Cape, an app has been developed to ease service delivery in the province, particularly targeting housing uh, service delivery. The province aims to eradicate this backlog within two years for new projects uh, titled this uh, to be delivered on the, on the day of, of occupation. There is a lack of technical capacity in municipalities in relation to planning and project uh, implementation, implementation. The Conrad Integrated Housing Development in Pinelands, City of Cape Town, is one of the province's flagship uh, integrated human settlements uh, program. In conclusion, uh, uh, facilitator, uh, the provincial week program sought to focus on the areas that are critical for the revival of the economy, including infrastructure development, and the reliable and sustainable resources like water, electricity, roads, and transport. The provincial delegations have managed to shine the light on these issues, uh, and indeed uh, uh, more, and identified the areas where interventions are necessary. The maintenance of infrastructure and capacity for the provision of water and sanitation for daily use are emerging as some of the key challenges. Going forward, the provincial de delegations will convene a deep briefing meetings on Friday, the 1st of April 2022, and deliberate on the, on the reports. It is in these meetings that the delegates are expected to consider and concretize the interventions that are necessary. This will be followed by a formal consideration of the of, of, of the consolidated report by the NCOP at a later stage with a view to identifying a clear course of, of action. Based on the draft reports that have been received from the different provincial delegations, the assessment exercise has identified instances where there have been successes or challenges in the provision of, of services. The successes include 
as a gentleman and a member of the media would have noticed the example of the improvement of the financial manage, management in the Alfred Nordisk municipality in the Eastern Cape. Of course, there are similar experiences uh, in, the, in, the, in the different uh, uh, provinces. Uh, if called upon to, to do so, uh, the different delegations in different uh, uh, provinces will be able to, 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 to respond. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, allow me, Mayor uh, uh, to thank everybody for having given us an opportunity uh, to go through uh, this uh, uh, media media statement. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. Thanks very much for for that diligent and. Um, good presentation from your side so thank you so much um whilst we are waiting for the hands from the media may i maybe just give each um leader of the provincial delegation one minute just to um highlight what happened especially yesterday because we 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 ended up with yesterday's um visits and we didn't get that much time to consolidate everything i would start with mama winnie from hunting and then go to that day dodofu from the northwest in that order please mamzo uh, thanks very much uh, shelly uh, shelly uh, in in terms of uh, hunting we have done a oversight visit uh, starting from Bara to Charlotte McLege and also have a visual uh, meeting uh, with the Minister of Water and uh, Deputy Minister of Water and Sanitation. And uh, we also do the visit at uh, Val in terms uh, of informal settlement and also at the Surish uh, point at um, Sidibeng. Um, I, I think uh, what uh, we have done, uh, it was very, very well and uh, it was a uh, it, it, it was a, a, a good a visit for us to visit these places, although there are challenges that we did face. But uh, Shelly, I cannot give you all because we are still going to consolidate properly all our oversight uh, uh, visit. Um, today also as we are in the media briefing, we're also going to legislature. Hopefully, Chelly, after we have uh, consolidated, we are going to get a thorough visit. Um, the success of the province and uh, also the challenges that uh, we found from the, 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 the day one uh, up, uh, up, up to now. But so far, this uh, provisional week it was very, very, very uh, important uh, for us to check this um, this uh, this uh, delivery uh, for the, for our people that uh, our people uh, are getting their service as supposed to. Thanks very much, Jim. Um, thank you, thank you very much, Mama. I had um, Honorable Dodovu, but I have also Deputy Chairperson, if she can be ready. Um, Honorable Dodovu, are you ready, sir? Uh, I, I thank you very much, uh, uh, Shelley. And let me take this opportunity to greet the Chairperson of the NCOP and all members present. In the Northwest, up to this far, everything is okay. 
in respect of our program. The program is unfolding as planned. Uh, as, as you are aware, our focus in the first days, two days was on, on issues of water and, and, and water sanitation, as well as the road infrastructure in the Northwest. We were able to engage with all the stakeholders what comes out very clear is that there are serious problems of water in the Northwest that must be given attention, uh, as well as the roads that are very, very bad. They ought to be given attention as well. On yesterday, we focused on issues of the uh, economy, special economic zones, uh, mining, as well as the renewable energy. Everything is okay. We got the information. There are lots of gaps that needs to be filled up. Uh, but uh, we are on top of the situation. Uh, we visited the plant of the renewable energy where solar panels are, are helping to, to support the electrical grid in the Ramos district. Uh, up to this far, we are quite happy, satisfied that the program is unfolding as planned. And, and, and this morning at nine o'clock, we're wrapping up the, 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 the visit in terms of... Uh, uh, developing a way forward on the basis of the program and develop a clear-cut way of dealing with the lessons learned up to this far. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Honorable Mutetua. Have you forgotten about me? No, no, I have not, ma'am. I have not, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, KZN, everything so far the program is going well and uh, we still had to rush for the one last one now before two o'clock for the sitting where we'll be consolidating our report but uh, our focus chair was the issue of the um, fighting crime and the, also looking at the resources and the infrastructure uh, i must say chair that i concur with the report that has been given by the national chair in terms of the infrastructure and the issue of the gender-based violence, we will be covering a lot on that. And we will also going to be giving in our report capturing issue of the firearms, how is it being kept in our province, the safety of our community. We will also going to be looking into, especially in the Manguzi area that the chair was alluding at where cars have been repossessed from the other side of the country. And when they're this side, the insurance don't pick them up. It stays there for eight to nine months. And we also going to touch the issue of the type of vehicles that need to be used in certain areas. Our report will be details around those, um, around those matters, Sherry, and the issue of the management and the, and the impact of the COVID-19 in terms of the police, uh, the men in blue themselves. So basically, Shelly, that's all we are going to cover. Uh, I'm just keeping summarizing the key issues that will be covered in our detailed report. Yes, sir. Because I only just would love to give one, uh, at least one minute so that we can give the media if ever they want to ask questions. Let me go, go to Ch Deputy Chairperson before I get to you, Honorable. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Very difficult to choose what to highlight when it is only one minute. But let me start with something that is to me very important. And I think we need to, to know that. that I think there is a, a deep concern that the top management of the South African police in the Northern Cape province, all of them, are in an acting capacity. It's just something that I want to mention. But let me go to our visits yesterday. Yesterday, the group, we decided to go in two groups. One went to the Richtersfeld municipality, and the other went to Kaima and, 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 and Namakoi. Kaima specifically to visit the Vedanta mine development, the zinc mine development. And in Namakoi, they addressed the issues of the water, as well as the new Orion mine that is going to be established in, 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 in Nababib, as well as also to meet with organized uh, uh, agriculture on the issue of the low cost. So the one issue, also Chairperson, you spoke about Kai Harib, but what, is, what was not mentioned is the fact that almost 3,000 households 
in Kaikhari has got no form of sanitation, which is to us a very serious issue, particularly for myself. That is, and then now on, on, on Rechtersfeld, the Rechtersfeld has got a, the serious challenge that they must take over Alexander Bay, that is a former mining town, but they don't have the resources. And if at all the Rechtersfeld municipality can generally be declared as a mining town, that will apparently alleviate the problem. And then also there was a briefing on the locust by organized uh, agriculture because Namakwe in particular was, uh, was actually having that specific problem. So I think the other issues we will, after the briefing meeting, give a full report, but I think generally our municipalities need really serious intervention, particularly a, a municipality like Richtersfeld has got a broad ocean and also the water of the Orange River that is running into the ocean, but they don't have the capacity to make sure that they utilize the water for the use of communities. And that is what they will need assistance with. But also with regards to regulatory issues on mining, there is issues that we will brief, uh, discuss in the report. And we hope that there will be a response from GNRE and other departments that can assist with the issues. I, I am using one minute and I hope I've kept my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Um, honorable, um, Alec. Um, th thanks a lot, um, Chairperson. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, in Limpopo, we we visited the dams, like uh, it was reported by the chair. The report will be attached. The details will be in the report. Uh, there was just one pending issue related to the Dihuop Dam. Remember the Dihuop Dam? had been launched, I think, in 1940, in 2014. I think that's when the minister launched it. And uh, there were people who were living in the basin of the dam before it was built. So they were relocated closer to the dam. Uh, and the municipality was given 200 million rands to facilitate uh, housing for, for those people. Uh, but now, the challenge now is that the, the houses are collapsing, the roofs are leaking. It's not even eight years uh, since the project was uh, implemented. So that's one very major challenge. Um, we have, do we had time, we will have met with the community, but we met with some few representatives, not a good representative, but people coming from that community who gave us briefings. The details will also be in the, in the report. Um, the, the, the hope them, old as it is, it's not, it's not actually meeting what it was, uh, I mean, you know, saving. It's not, it's not where it's supposed to be by now. So there are only a few villages who are saved up to uh, the, the amount of villages, which is, about maybe seven or eight kilometers. I'm not sure about the distance. But uh, Jane Fest, which is an emerging town with a regional hospital, a three-star hotel and about three malls, works on tankering. And from what the business people say is that they actually use more money uh, through tankering than if they are paying water from the municipality. So that is... Uh, I'll say all in all, that will be the gist of the challenges we met in Limpopo. Um, except with the College of, F, of Agriculture at Don Biseleta, where there's no school governing body and the school really needs lots of intervention. The college needs lots of intervention. And that uh, the service that it provides to the communities, it's, it's enormous. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. We need to support that college. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Honorable Member. Um, can I please go to Honorable Ndongeni? Thank you, Shelly. Morning, members. Morning, Chairperson. Morning, Deputy Chairperson. Morning, sis. Our provincial record was a successful in Eastern Cape. And yesterday, we go to we go to farmers, which is planting the cannabis. And then their challenge is, they have a challenge of the climate change and 
the finance because they don't have the finance and the license it's is too expensive for them so the department uh, the, told them they're going to assist them and they're going to they have the training and they must do the co-ops the co so that they can get the assistance from the department. Otherwise, they are willing to do anything and they are willing to do training. And the problem is the expensive fees required to obtain operational license and permit is inadequate informational about establishment of co-ops and how this will assist the individual cannabis farmers. That's the that's our report so far. We're going to consolidate our report and we're going to to table in the NCOP. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I think um the media got everything that they, they really needed from this one and as well that we are streaming to them mostly so i think we have done the best thank you so much honorable members for attending the briefing um we shall stop here unless a um, chairperson would love to to close with some few words yes no no not much uh, Just, just to, to, to thank members for being a part of uh, this briefing and uh, urge everyone to ensure that the reports are compiled and, 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 that, and that finally we, we, we do uh, the relevant related work uh, in relation to, uh, for instance, the tabling of the report at the NCOP. Uh, and, and finally, uh, concrete uh, suggestions that one is looking forward to in terms of uh, uh, the way forward. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, we stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Chair. Thank you. 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 Thank you.